do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter morphology of flowering plants in that we are studying topic the structure of phloem phloem are basically organs in plants or you can say organs which basically help to conduct food we will be studying what is the structure of phloem today and how does it work phloem the organ or you can say the conducting vessel that help to transport food in plant now phloem basically are vessels that extend from the leaves precisely from the chloroplast region of the leaf from where food is prepared to different regions of the plant whether it is the root shoot stem because all these regions require food for their growth and development and phloem basically is present throughout the plant it is a conducting vessel but for food the structure of phloem is basically divided into four types or you can say phloem consists of four different types of cell this are sieve tubes companion cells phloem fibers and phloem parenchyma when i talk about sieve tubes they are present at the distribution region they are distributed unevenly and there are perforations or you can say markings present inside sieve tubes when i say perforation it means small openings through which material can get inside or outside whether it is osmosis or diffusion one of those companion cells are nothing but living parenchyma when i say living parenchyma they will consist of all the qualities of parenchyma that is unspecialized cells cells which have long lot of intercellular spaces in them and they will provide some amount of mechanical support to the plant phloem fibers are basically providing rigidity and strength to the phloem while it contains glucose or prepared food to the different parts and lastly phloem parenchyma now phloem parenchyma is a part that helps to store the actual food sometimes it also stores the starchy or the oil material the structure of phloem basically is these are vessels that are extending from the leaf region where the food is prepared to the region where another kind of synthesis would be taking place for example phloem basically conducts or takes away prepared fruits from the leaves to other parts of the plant the structure of phloem basically consists of four different types of cell and those are sieve tubes companion cells phloem fibers and parenchyma cell
Phloem cells, the other parts include sieve tubes, companion cells, phloem fibers, and phloem parenchyma. Now, sieve tubes are basically differentiated or categorized on the basis of perforations, or you can say small openings present on them through which food material can pass in or pass out. Companion cells are nothing but they accompany the sieve tubes in carrying and they are living parenchyma. They include all the qualities of parenchyma that is intercellular spaces, unspecialized cells, all those. Now majority monocots and dicots, all of them have companion cells. Lastly, phloem fibers. Now fibers are basically for rigidity or strength when you are conducting or transferring the food material. Phloem parenchyma is the main material that actually stores food and this stores food in the form of starch while conduction of material is taking place in a cell. Now this picture is the structure or represent the phloem structure in a plant. This includes mass of cells and basically the companion cells are those cells that actually help in transport of material along with the sieve elements and the sieve plates. Sieve plates allow the diffusion of food material or you can say glucose inside the phloem structure. The fibers are actually haloated or you can say fibers are inside the sieve plates or sieve cells and they provide rigidity when the phloem structure moves against the gravity. Because we know anything moving against gravity it requires a strong support and this phloem fibers provide those supports. Seed plates are basically present at the base of the phloem structure and whenever material is moving towards the root region the sieve plates open and diffuse the food material whereas sieve plates the upper region allows the entry of the material and companion cells have to help the sieve plate and the sieve element together along with fibers. Students in this part of the chapter, we have studied about phloem, the structure of phloem and the different kinds of phloem present inside the plant. We have studied how phloem helps in conduction of material and the different type of cells that together form up the structure of phloem. I hope you all are clear about this concept. Thank you.